All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. It's been a while. I know I'm late, but uh, we're here anyway. All right. So, uh, Sandalfon, I tried my best to not uh, get spoiled by this guy or looked anywhere about this guy. So I have no idea if there's any tech for this guy or the weapon or whatever yet. All right, Sandalfon is uh, the first character to get a second grand version because apparently Side Games is out of fucking uh, ideas. He has 1240 HP, 9800 attack. Yeah, he's light now. Attack, still sword, katana, sure. All right, I'll talk the we talk about the weapon later because we all know what that is. Uh, Paradise Lost though, uh, four hundred fifty light massive flight damage to a foe while Lucent Refuge is in effect. Changes to Arwoli. Damage cap is two point nine mil. Uh huh, Arwoli. All allies gain revitalize, extend supreme wings wings duration by two turns. And Trusted Resolve is Chofton's cooldown, all allies gain Supreme Wings. While Lucent Refuge is in effect, all light allies also gain dodge one time. Whenever you cast this, I guess. Okay, Supreme Wings is bonus light damage effect to for... Okay, so that's Echo, right? Defense is boosted, one turn cut to debuff duration at the end of turn. Oh, that's... That's pretty cool. Righteous Deed. 7 turns cooldown. Instantly perform a normal attack without using a turn. Inflict 10% uh, attack defense down stackable up to 40% to a foe. And Dispel. While Supreme Wings is in effect, can recast once each turn it is cast. Okay, so as long as you have this, you can uh, cast this twice basically, right? In a turn. Cool. Along in Heaven. Ready in 12 turns. Cooldowns in 12 turns. Gain instant charge. Say reactivation and loosen refuge. Indefinite duration. Damage taken is reduced. Effects that remove buffs will be nullified. Oh, so he has uh, Dispel cancelled as well. But this is only to himself, right? Yeah, this is only to himself. So he's immune to Dispels and uh, he has damage taken reduced. Okay, while well, recent refuge is a uh, refuge is in effect, restore caster's HP ten thousand. When caster has an effect that restores HP every turn, so it's like refresh, whatever revitalize, right? One turn cut to this skills cool uh standby and cooldown at the end of turn. So basically, he does get it on his own as well on Ogi, I suppose, right? Uh, promises chaff wings. Uh, while Supreme Wings is in effect, guaranteed triple attacks. While both Supreme Wings and Lucent Refuge is in effect, normal attacks deal 4 hit damage to random foes. So it's kind of like flurry in a way. Yeah, Celeste, RK? 20% boost to... L oh. Oh, so this is the... Oh, okay. Oh, so this is the, the Primark effect thingy. Okay, cool. You get 20% Echo and 30% Defense. Uh, 30% damage reduction if... Okay. Yep, I guess he's pretty strong, yeah. Uh, EMP, he has 1 damage cap. SCA cap, not damage cap. <laughs> Stamina, 1 healing, 2 HP, 1 crit, 2 CA damage, 1 light attack. 2 defense. Okay, so this tree is a must. I don't think he needs heal that much, right? Doesn't revitalize also accounts to like the character's personal healing cap rather than that character's healing cap though? Like, his healing cap? No, right? So technically, this is not really needed. That's such a weak EMP, though, this one. <laughs> so weird. Because he doesn't really heal, does he? <laughs> I'm like triple checking and shit, but I only see the heals coming from this too. Guaranteed triple flurry, right? Or extra 4 hit damage. Yeah, he doesn't have any heals, so this thing's fucking useless. <laughs> so, 1, 2, 3. I'll definitely max out 1 HP. And the rest, I think I'll just put defense, I guess. I could put one point of each here. And that's already 20%. Instead of spending three points to get 20%, you get one, two points only. And then it's already 20%. So one, two, three, four. And then I put some points here, two points here. And then the rest you put crit, I guess, if you want to. But that's, that's what I would personally do. Another character that is uh, very good on your Ogi. So more power to Kango as well for the enjoyers. Kango enjoyers. Very good in full auto as well by the looks of it. 30%, 20% echo, right? Definitely somewhat usable in in uh, burst as well in a way. But I don't think it's 
really needed, but definitely helps though. Yeah, definitely helps because it's like you don't really need to get like Mugen or whatever, right? Because I don't think this is really needed. You can use this anyway, and this one allows you to do this. So this one is good. But uh, unfortunately, you can't really get this to work though because you need to get this, right? And this one doesn't get in effect until you do this a lot. You won't be able to use this, but you can still technically kind of use him anyway from what I can see so far. You can definitely use him for bursting setups. I'm thinking whether is it good for OTK or not. Doesn't, doesn't feel that great. Yeah, I don't think it really works that well in OTK. Because I feel like a lot of his stuff really only like activates when you press something. A lot of times OTK, you kind of want to not press anything. Because his is like, you need this, right? A lot of his stuff kind of relying on his supreme wings, right? And then also if you really want it to be strong, you need this as well. I think he, he, he works really well for like hard raids though. Because he gets so much uh, defense, right, to himself. And every one of your party members basically get free 30% defense as well. Undispellable, right? Yeah, undispellable lasts for 4 turns. And then if every time you Ogi, you extend it by 2 turns. Definitely good. And then if you finally get this up as well, you get dodge as well whenever you press this. So it's pretty good, right? So it's actually pretty, pretty sick. Hard raids, long fights for your full auto stuff basically kind of boils down the same uh, scenario anyway. So it's... Pretty damn good. I mean, it's to be given, right? It's a grand character. <laughs> Imagine getting a grand character and it's not shit. Yeah, I mean, being shit or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely really, really strong. Unfortunately, I feel like, unfortunately, this only works on by himself, to himself. If this works to the whole entire party, this guy is insane. <laughs> like, it would be super insane. 30% reduction, damage taken reduction. Immune to uh, dispel can uh, basically as dispel cancel permanently to the entire party. Fucking hell, <laughs> that'll be so insane, bruh. Yeah, I think that definitely one of the, the perks that really makes him super strong. He needs this though, so he needs to just get this up, and then he gets so much firepower. This thing looks so fucking insane. But yeah, you have to use this though. The good thing is that this thing will be there permanently though. You can re, you can re, like it's not like a one time cast only this this third skill of his at least you can repeat it because so you can get extra 10k heals or whatever and then this basically this too that like sure right but at least this thing is permanent and i feel like the first cast is the most important one getting this i mean this one's you don't really need me to explain this at all just slot him in there and you get extra 20 percent multiplier already so that's insane all right let's talk about a weapon because it's exalto right yep wait there's no info about this <laughs> how much is this <laughs> the, the wiki doesn't have that man crit is such an annoying fucking thing to deal with i don't really recall which character gives crit i do remember his has but I don't remember what other character gives it though. I know Cosmos is Ogi oriented, right? I don't remember what the fuck she gives though. I don't remember her weapon at all. I know her weapon has like good Ogi or whatever shit. That's really about it. This one is progression or something. And multi-attack was it? If I recall correctly for her. Uh, Lucio is Eden, right? So that's definitely not. Nehan is definitely not. Nehan is supplemental skill shit. Vera is uh, Ogi stuff, right? Then Uni is uh, PNS, so yeah, no. So it's only Noah's weapon, right? Oh, Kek kind of has crit as well on the weapon skills, not the Ogi. But you still do not want to fucking use Grand uh, Craig's weapon anyway. You definitely want this instead. Yeah, because you definitely want this. If my, me if my memory serves me right, if you have uh, uh, two of these, and you go double Zeus, it's like 96% or something, right? If you go double Zeus and this... With the dragon, I think you get like 96 on 98% or some shit crit. So technically, you can actually get closer to 100% without needing double Zeus because you have this as well. And then if you put him in the back line, so you get this, then you get the dragon as uh, not drag, yeah, dragon as well. So Luo summon, you get that as well. And then you get this as well, right? Because this is basically boosting this right so i guess with single uh single zeus should still be fine i think you can kind of get it to cap you can get 100 percent. i think man this sucks though <laughs> why crit of all things man 
like I feel like Light is still getting cucked because of fucking uh, uh, the whole Florence Mugen the uh, what uh, Florence Mugen shit. Eh? Light still getting punished for getting sh the short end of the stick, man. Fire and Wing got like good shit. Light gets crit of all things. It is so ass, man. So in order for you to cap no matter what, you need three of them. So you need three of his weapon to get 20%. So this one seems to be like the best one. Single Zoo seems to be like the best one. And you need to crit as well too. So if you do not have like a character like, you know, take Alanan for example, the one that forces you to crit, like on everyone. This, this weapon is basically shit for off element basically. Dude, personally, I still think it's better for you to just go for fucking Luo's weapon rather. Just rely on Luo's weapon. I mean, going for like the, the usual stack of three of these weapons is already pretty good. Eh? Because like, you don't really... You don't really uh need to rely on this. Because in order, in order for you to make use of uh, Sandalphon's weapon, you need this. Because if you're not critting, what's the point, right? You need to rely on, uh what's it call it? Characters that gives you 100% crit or some shit. So that's... Fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, this this weapon is actually kind of shit. You only use it just for this though, but like... Luo's weapon is still... I feel like the way to go. For the most part. Yep, Sanofon's character-wise is insane. The weapon sucks ass. <laughs> Definitely a shit Exalto weapon. So uh, that's that's good, I guess. You just go for the character. You don't really, have, don't really need multiple of this shit, I feel. Yeah, I guess that's about it for Sanofon, I suppose. Thanks for watching.